Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey, what's happening folks? Son of Beast here, and this time it's another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. It's time, it's game three and four. As we go right to the other side, we start things off here as we are about to send you to the Eastern Conference side. First, two games early afternoon before tonight's game in the Western Conference at the matchup. As we get this thing started underway here, we started off with Florida Panthers facing against the Toronto Maple Leafs. That happens to start with the game here at 1 p.m. here, and this is now the time where we come in for another prime time of the game. This time it's the Florida Panthers already have lost two games in a, in a playoff game against the Toronto Maple Leafs at home, but the Maple Leafs already struck it into the games in between in the away games. But now they are home and they're looking to see if they can add another one. Will the Panthers grab back and take the lead on the board to go with a 2-1 series? Or will the Leafs take them down to put the endo on them with the fight to win it? Now here's the next one I'll be having the commentators in between, James Zabalski and Cheryl. That will be happening here at Scotty Bank Arena, up in, North, in Toronto, Canada. I'll be back here with the post-game show right after this, and we'll find out who will take here. Let's get started, team. Enjoy the third game of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Let's rock and roll, baby. Welcome to Toronto. So much iconic hockey history here. Always feels like a big event. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
taken by the too many bodies in the way. Who's in the puck in the corner? Florida goal is 65 goal in the playoff score of 9 number 21, Nick Cousins. His first assisted here by number 56, Aaron Eckblad, and by number 23, Gustav Forse. Time of the goal, 327 remaining in the first period of the game. That's Nick Cousins with the goal, along with Aaron Eckblad and Gustav Forse, 347 in the playoffs of the first. Great time to come up with the 
One and a half, the frame has been played here. The Panthers are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Play resumes here as he takes the drive inside the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Montour. in the first period.
Hey everybody, Mephone here. Sorry I have no time to say what it is, but there is a lot of great chants up here that we are coming back in. It's a new season of the Anime Sanity Invitational that's, that's already uh, finished up, but season two is back. This is where we're getting things ready to get this thing started here. If you're all for anybody, it's been 14 years since we've never been coming back here after the Hurricane Sandy has been hit in 2012. But then after that, just everything changes here because of the pandemic that happened here. On the day of August of 2020, it was not re never really caught on in between, but the most of our life, it does happen to be one of them at, at all the changes. It may not be anybody that you're looking for, but in that case, you'll find someone who could definitely uh, go with in between the seasons backing for the memories. But this time, the final four has been left off in between a suitcase, baseball, knife, and yeah, you always get that one right away in between. But I'm guessing you might be figuring out who do you think? Well, you'll find out who they are in the finals. But in that case, stay tuned with that. This will be a new episode on the 15th, only at the BFDI and MA Sandy Tours on each location. Tickets are starting to run out soon, so there is not much time left in between, so if you got tickets, go ahead and check it out now. A couple of ones are here in Chicago and Fort Lauderdale, so be sure to grab them while you can. All the tickets are sold out in between, so we'd like to thank you for everyone who is attending, and we'll see you all on the tour. That will be at a start. On June, it's the day after this playoff possession. You'll definitely see what's going on. Now, let's get back into the game. Me for now. Gotta head back in time now. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second quarter offers. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Charlotte sure Ohio sun this one up for the first 20 minutes. The Leafs are going to need to find the details in their game here, James. They're not winning face-offs. They're not starting with the puck. There's a real reason why they're behind. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Matthews. The Leafs carry on the wall. Takes the shot. Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. And he's ridden off the puck. Here he is in front. The lane was plugged up when that shot's blocked. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Taken along the wall by Matthews. And this one is really put the pressure on now. The Panthers continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Florida's got it in the defensive zone. Nice feed from the right wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Handles the pass. Gaining momentum along the wing. A chance in front. Picked off in front. Across the line, down the left wall. Skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Leafs were playing in their own end. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Moves it to Cousins. The Panthers played along the wing. Here's a short pass to the shot. Sagsaros going to hang on for a whistle. And he slides it quickly to the 
Here they come inside the neutral zone. Grabbed along the board by Rodriguez. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Marauders going to start with the puck in the right end. Passes all over to Yarncroft. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Oh, excellent play, goal there! Bobrovsky is going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this one. He's physically engaged and keeping himself in it. Florida's been firing on all cylinders here early in this second period, and they continue to lead this one. Taken by McKay. Stops him cold. Picked up along the wall by Yurko. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Edmund Larson. From the left side, they gain the zone. Great use of the point as he puts that one away. Florida's got the puck along the boards. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. And he takes the dish. Here's an odd man rush. Oh, here's an odd man. Turn the side with a glove by Bobrovsky. I love that he swallowed this one up with his club. It's a real threat coming from the soft area. No rebound to boot. The Panthers continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. Florida's taking possession in their own end. Sends a pass over. For Hagee's got him in the offensive zone. There's an objection of energy with that hit. And he sends it across to Reinhardt. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Matthews. And he gets just enough to keep out. Toronto's got the puck. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Moves it quickly over to Warner. And that goes off a player in front. Sends it over to Cousins. Florida's crossed the line and on the attack. He grabs the puck here at the point. Score by number 16, Alexander Borkov. Time of the goal of the game for Alexander Borkov. 803 remaining. That's Alexander Borkov with the goal, unassisted. 803 in the playoffs. In the second period. The Leafs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Panthers gain control of the puck against the wall. Florida's on the attack. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Nylander's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Toronto's going to make something happen in the offensive zone. Bobrovsky's got the puck and he's going to hang on. The Panthers have had a lot of jump in their steps since the drop of the puck in this one, and they lead it here in this second period. Florida's going to hold on the puck. And he takes the feed. Along the side, here they come to the neutral zone. Shot! Oh, he's got a piece of it to keep it out. He pass to Darby. Bertuzzi's lugging the puck. Turns it over. Toronto's going to play 
the puck from behind the cage. Picked up along the boards by Bustorini. Moves the puck along the half wall. Slides it across to Riley. Carrados across the blue line. There's a shot. The noise of he got on it. Rodriguez works the puck in his own zone. Inside, Tate gets that puck along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by the Abushkin. The Panthers gain control of it. Takes the feed in center and moves forward. Here's a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it skates out of the net. Takes the hit. He goes down to the ice and cocks up the puck. Reaches out and uses the stick. Takes it along the wall by Montour. Florida's got the puck in the defensive end. On the attack along the Lakers. Big time save and goal as he gets all of it with the stick. There's another foot of hit parade. Oh, save somehow got a piece of it. Knocked off the puck. Grabbed along the board by Parade. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Panthers take over on possession. Dish is up to the shot. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Carrano's got a hold of the puck now. Sends the pass over. Here's a chance. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it on the net. Edmund Larson's moving the puck to his own zone. Takes the pass. And uses the length of a stick to knock that puck away. Quick feed to Yarncroft. That's set of ice now. He grabs the puck. Toronto's coming along the wall. Montour is taking 
Cousins crosses the line and is on the attack. Here's a chance at Cousins, and he denies that great opportunity there. And that's blocked. Short. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Come on, 
Rothstein. Alright fans, it's time for your Maple Leafs power play! Thomas Melody, 446 remaining in the first third period. That's Zimmer and Melody, 476 and 414, 446 in the third period of the game.
and we'll get a face-off after the puck hops into the bench. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this That's the end of the regulation period. Final score for, the, for the game number three. Panthers three. It's Ryan Maple Leafs one. All right, James, time to send you down to a three-star players in the game. Disappointment out there, but that's all it goes. Alexander Barkov was the first to part of a third star, a goal assistant hit. Turned that one to beat over the goaltender, and he done it all. Then it was his second star that happened to be Aaron Ekblad with a goal assistant six hits. It was just that, but that started things off to make a seeing eye ability to take all of it. And Sergei Bobrovsky is a 44 saves as your first star player of the game. So he's definitely really doing really well. So what a great shutdown this is for two periods, but one goal has been given up for the Sergei Bobrovsky against the Leafs in the third, but not for long. He just made it still tight. Here's what he did with the total statistics. 46 over 45 close shots on goal, and it was 50 over 42 for the Toronto over Florida. 631 over 614 for Florida. And it was 91 over 89 for the Toronto Maple Leafs. 28 face-off wins for the Florida Panthers over 14. Two-minute penalty kill was Florida, but no power play goal was made. And it's only a two-minute power play on ice. So that was totally it. Uh, now, this brings Florida Panthers a waiting halt. Now, they're back in. They won in game three. So it's a 2-1 lead series, still Toronto. But we'll have to find out if there's another one that comes in for Game 4 once Game 3 has been completed. You'll see what happens when it's on its way next. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you all again for the next game as we got the Hurricanes and the Flyers happening here at 3 p.m. That will be the next part of the game. It will be underway there soon. So, yep. Saturday Night Primetime will continue right after these messages. See you all later for the next part of the game and for a while as the NHL 24 of the Stanley Cup Playoff dial. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.